The prince of Egyptian real estate appearing in court in a cage. The picture is sweeping across the Middle East. Hisham Talat Mustafa is accused of ordering the killing of Lebanese pop singer Suzanne Tamim. He pleads not guilty. No, Your Honor, the judge, it did not happen. I presented all the proof for that and it did not happen. Suzanne Tamim skyrocketed to fame in 1996 when she won a talent show in Lebanon. She was the mistress of Mustafa for three years. The retired policeman who was accused of receiving $2 million from Mustafa to carry out the murder also pled not guilty. I swear to God, I am innocent. The two men could face the death penalty. The judge examined the prosecution's evidence, which included the murder weapon, a Swiss army knife. For the defense lawyers, this case is an attempt to frame a man who is close to Egyptian President Mubarak's family. Nobody is so naive as to leave the weapon used in the crime in a garbage bin in such a way so that investigators find it. The credit card, all that, I'm sorry, it's a bad scenario for a movie. The case with its mix of wealth, show business and politics has gripped Egypt, a country where powerful businessmen rarely face justice.